All right. Welcome, Marvel family. It's J. Tull, Jeremy, if you don't know me. And I am here today to do <coughs> the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie review, which was MPAA, Motion Picture Association of America, number 54,236. I gotta stay till the you gotta stay till the credits to see that. So I stay till the credits of all the movies. And for Marvel, we stay post credits. Pretty much everyone in the theater does that nowadays. So welcome, Marvel fam. Wore my Marvel shirt today. Although Ant Man is not on here, I've got a couple of Marvel shirts, and uh, Ant Man's not on them. So. I appreciate and enjoy the Marvel artwork that they put out. It's, it's like an art project that they put out. And I appreciate it just for all that goes into it. Yeah, I've got to say Ant-Man hasn't always been my favorite character, but I do like how Paul Rudd portrays Ant-Man. He's got a, a creative, youthful kind of um, demeanor and the way that he handles things. <laughs> and it comes through in this movie. They tone down some of the fun and some of the jokes, but it still has a, a lighthearted nature. Not as much as Thor. It's like they used the Thor movies to be just a joke and kind of like a test grounds to see what they could get away with for Thor. But on this one, they dialed it back a bit. Uh, it really feels like uh, heavily influenced by space movies like Star Wars. And there's probably a whole bunch of other ones that you might think. Uh, one of the reviewers I noticed mentioned Dune. You know, they thought it was kind of a mix between like Star Wars and Dune and Battlestar Galactica. Uh, you know, some different space movies like that. So it really felt like when I was watching this movie, and no spoilers, when I was watching this movie, I just kind of felt this question of like, I wonder if this is what it was like when Star Wars was coming out of the movies, where it's just something... You know, they're going into different cantinas or whatever, and there's all these aliens and bots or droids or whatever. That kind of like if you were in the theater for the original Star Wars movies and it was like, wow, all this space lore of this world, the worlds in space, you know, people seeing that, I kind of felt like, wow, you know, this really is maybe kind of like a throwback vibe or reminiscent of that, the people that created this. So I enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't like crazy over the top or all this kind of stuff. It was just a, a solid entry in the Marvel Universe. Um, a lot of the reviews, it looked like people didn't care for it um, the way that they did for some of the other movies. But I thought it was a solid entry. I enjoyed it. I saw it at uh, Cinemark Tinseltown, uh, Benton in 3D. So Real D 3D is what I saw it in. And I thought it was actually really well done. I enjoyed it. I enjoy the Marvel stuff. And it just felt like this space epic that I guess was actually in the quantum realm, but they really kind of focused in on that and, and this world building, I, I guess, of where they're going in their next phases of the Marvel Universe. So it was a good movie. If you enjoy that kind of thing, I think you'd like it. Uh, a lot of the characters I, I thought did really well. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, I was kind of surprised. It's like they used her quite a bit. She kind of came out of nowhere, kind of left field and had all these skills and was able to do so much in the quantum realm with communicating with people and just getting through there and navigating thought that was uh, interesting for her character. Again, Ant-Man and the Wasp, they did fine. Um, I was kind of surprised how they brought Michael Douglas in, where he was like the Ant King. <laughs> I won't go into spoilers, but he turns into like the Ant King or Ant God or something like this in the quantum realm and just, you know, helps uh, save the day. Obviously, there's going to be a save the day moment. So that was part of his role, which I thought was uh, kind of cool and enjoyable. And then... Um, the bad guy, actually, Kang, uh, the actor that did him, uh, his role, I don't, I don't remember his name, what it is, he did a really good job. I thought he was a really compelling villain that, that really uh, portrayed it, his character well. And they all did a decent job, for, for real. Like, they've had enough time to kind of iron these things out. Some of the reviews and someone I talked to actually kind of mentioned this idea of, like, Marvel fatigue where maybe there's been so many of these that people kind of get fatigued from it a little bit. But, you know, it's kind of to be expected when you have a series that just keeps going and going and going, like Fast and the Furious. But I still enjoy it, and I enjoy some of those too. So that's kind of what I thought about it. Um, I thought it was funny that, you know, going into this realm of gods and, and different 
people that might like one of the quotes, I don't remember who said it, but they were talking about the bad guy thinking like, oh, well, you know, he's just a man who thinks he's God or trying to play God. And I was like, that's so interesting. This has been part of all the, the Marvel universe where that kind of thing comes out. You know, the writers put it in there and uh, you get to see the bad guy where he thinks he's going to go ahead and just dominate everything. And that's not too far from the truth of what the enemy wants to do to us in this reality where we've got good and evil and we've got the enemy that wants to dominate us and control us. And then we've got God who wants us to just, you know, allow him to, to give up our, not necessarily our control, but to submit ourselves to God under his will uh, to do what's good and what's right by him and then by people. And so there's this idea of, you know, submitting to what's good versus allowing yourself to sink into the darkness and be controlled by evil. So that was, uh, you know, I thought that was interesting. Um, if there's a public service announcement, I would just say, keep God first. There's amazing revelation with God and with Christ and with the Holy Spirit. I keep unlocking stuff more and more and more and just smoothing through life. All these rough parts and all these storms and, and uh, um, challenges, you know, just like this movie, there's so many challenges they have to go through to finally get to where they overcome. And so it's, it's just like that in our reality in life. There's so many challenges we have to go through. But despite all the challenges and the storm and all this junk, Jesus told the, the storm to be calm and, and for them to the disciples to be still and be at peace, you know, because he's greater than the storm. And through Christ, we can do all things, uh, you know, within it being in God's will, I think, where, you know, we've got a choice of how we can do this. And if we are on God's side, and we put him first and we're with Christ and the Holy Spirit, then we can do all things to go through this in his will and smooth out all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of a public service announcement that I just like to put in there that uh, I hope that blesses you today. And, and you search that out. If you have, uh, you know, that kind of question going on of all these different things on TV and movies, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, but let's give credit where it's due to God who's over all this, because at the end of the day, that's, that's where the peace that Jesus left us, the Shalom, the peace and wholeness and well-being and just totality of, of that peace comes from, is from God and from Christ. And that's what we want to emphasize and keep our focus on instead of all these movies and shows too much, even though they are fun to watch and keep up with. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the movie or the review or whatever's going on here. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. You can like it and do all that kind of stuff if you'd like to. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are. You can put a comment real easy uh, about the movie, what you liked about the movie, didn't like about the movie, about the movie review, and uh, maybe what you'd like to talk about that's on your mind. So until the next one, I hope you have a great day and God bless you and all those around you in Jesus name. I'll see you soon. All right. Peace.